Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Laura Gretchen's workshop. So today we're going to be making the ladder, hanging ladder, and the trap door to the attic of the Roman House dollhouse. Okay, right here I'm working on the sides and the rungs to the ladder segments. Now, I'm sorry, working on that camera there. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of trace out a, a shape on um, a piece of wax paper to make sure that the ladder segments that I'm creating to fold up will actually fit on the top of the door. So that when I fold it up, it'll be the right size. Okay, now as I began to build the little ladder, I used little Lego pieces to help me um, keep my spacing correct and try to make sure that those corners um, inside the rungs are square so that it'll look uniform. The rungs were just very, really small, square um, pieces of wood. Okay, and I trimmed them to size and just spaced them out. And I only wanted like three or four rungs per um, ladder segment. Now for the frame around the opening, I actually used the remnants from the lip that was on those windows in that bedroom. Okay, so I'm just sizing and spacing it out and the wax paper makes it really easy to remove the ladders when they get dry. So um, yeah, definitely consider that. It's a really um, nice trick to use a wax paper. Okay, that's the second rung. Just completing the sizing and try not to touch it a lot because at this point it's very fragile because it hasn't set. Okay, put it on that third rung. Put my Lego piece in. Okay, now while that's drying, I'm thinking about how I'm going to attach the ladders. But at this point, I just want to make sure that they're sturdy enough to work with. Okay, that's pretty pretty dry, and I can see it fits on the template. So that shorter one is a little bit short. I made it a little bit shorter because I want it to be the centerpiece, kind of um, the hinge part. Still thinking about how I'm going to attach them, but you'll see a little bit later in the video what I ended up doing. Okay, that's just drying. So now I have the third piece in process just trimming it out with my handy easy cutter making sure the rungs are as uniform as possible i'm going to end up doing quite a bit of sanding because that is my scientific way of getting perfect measurements right there just line them up and chop them yep that's it Okay, so those, you see, they're a little bit jagged, so I definitely have to sand those down so that they'll fit properly in between my spaced pieces. But now I have the two pieces dry, and that second one is just about set, so I can start lining up the pieces for the third segment to the ladder. Now, as it comes together, I'm going to do quite a bit of fitting and checking and fitting and checking. Um, I'm going to have to do this very same process for the other opening inside the nursery. So I will get opportunity to do this again. But this was my first shot at this particular project. And it's coming out pretty good. I'm really liking the way um, it's looking at this point. I can't wait to start staining and aging it, making it look really rugged and rickety. Okay, so just finishing off that last segment to the ladder, making sure the spacing is correct and giving those other pieces opportunity to dry really good so that they'll be able to be handled as I put the hinging on. Now, the, the pieces were kind of fragile and I had to consider reinforcing some parts of them as I moved along a little bit further. But right now I'm getting the basic structure of the ladder together to make sure it is as straight as possible before I begin to reinforce it. 
Now, I didn't want to take a whole lot of time on this portion, but I do want you to see the lengths of the three different segments. So I've got two of them that are long and one that's short, and that short one will be the middle fold. So when I um, collapse it on top of the door, it'll stack and it won't be too long where it won't be able to close the door. So now that I've got those pieces done, they're dry and kind of sturdy. I'm just trying to see how they'll stack and lay together in the spacing. As I continue on, I'm just checking the sizing of the door inside that frame. Now I already know it's a little bit um, too long, so I'm going to have to trim it down using my very scientific measurement style. I'm just chopping right through it and I'm going to lay that um, top piece just flush to the sides of the window frame and it'll fit around the, the trap door perfectly. With this type of thing I'm just really really very really careful taking my time to make sure I cut it and don't cut my hands. You have to be careful with saws and blades. Just okay so right there through that so now I'm checking the sizing again I hope you all are really noticing my really precise measuring um, techniques. Not really so much, but this has just been my way. My um, miniature work, it was all self-taught, so I'm just kind of used to doing it the way I figured out how to do it a long time ago. And it works for me. So I'm just trimming off this edge. I am going to mark it to make sure it's as accurate as possible. And then I'm going to trim it to fit because the trap door um, is exactly the same size as that window frame lip. So I pretty much know that it's going to work already. So I just need it to be shorter. So I'm doing just some quick markings here and trimming that edge off so I can keep this going. And anytime my cuts are a little bit off, I don't mind sanding, side, sanding, so no worries. Okay, so I'm trimming that off really quick, being very careful. When you get done with your blade, always, always, always make sure you close it up before you put it down. Always close it. So just getting a little junk off my desk and just making sure that this little piece matches. Okay. And the matches, when I glue it, it's going to fit really neat around that trap door that I've got there. So that's perfect. That's what I want. Okay, so just putting a little glue there on the end. And just gently putting it there. I'm going to just have to let it sit there on the wax paper and allow it to dry. Okay. All right, so now that that's drying, I can kind of turn my attention to the door. So when I close it up, I want it to fit really, really neat. I don't want it to catch. I don't want it to fall, but I don't want it to catch. And see, it's a little bit big. Okay, so I'm going to sand down the sides to that door because it's got some rough, um, rough edges on it. And if, if you take a little bit off by sanding, you'll get the right amount off. I really don't want to cut it because sometimes you cut it, you'll cut too much. Sanding, you can take down really thin layers um, really easily without taking too much. And just keep checking it until you make sure it fits. And so also just sanding off the surface of the door to make sure to be smooth when I paint it. Okay, so both of the doors are looking good. Those are going to be my little handles. And I actually think I'm only going to use one of the handles because for the door that sits upstairs in the attic on the floor, I want it to lay flat so that a rug can lay over the door. So, yeah. So, now that both of the doors are ready, I realize that w w the door that's going to have the ladder attached is going to need like a little reinforcement piece. So, I'm trimming a small piece of wood to put inside the door because there's going to have to be something substantial to attach the ladder to. So that's what I'm doing with, with this small piece of wood. 
I'm fitting it so I can put it at the top of the door so when it opens it'll have something to for me to to attach whether I use a hinge or whatever I use to attach the ladder it'll be strong enough now I just attached a really small piece of popsicle stick actually um, because th that wood is a little bit thicker than the wood that I used to actually design the door and I'm clamping it down to allow it to dry really really solid okay so now just looking at the ladder and I've got my segmented pieces they're dry enough for me to handle and in my mind I'm thinking maybe I can make them slide but that idea just really wasn't coming to me how to how to attach it but I do know a way so as I mentioned earlier I'm going to use a, the pin process like I use for the doors to my cabinets so I'm going to put a small hole right on the end and I'm going to try to attach it where it'll be inside the rung. You're going to see shortly that my first couple attempts, it didn't work out the way I imagined. Now be very careful. This is a pin drill. I was um, doing it very, very slowly. And while I was doing it, I realized that the tips of those pins were kind of painful. So I decided, let me go for something I know which is a thimble it has more than one use so i definitely was able to use it to push the pins in but you have to be very careful when you're doing this because sometimes the pin depending on the pressure and the type of wood you're using it can split your wood or it doesn't go straight into the rung of the ladder some of them did some of them didn't so i had to actually reinforce the pieces of the wood to make sure that the pin was encased inside of the wood so you'll be able to move the the hinge around okay so so i added a little bit extra wood to that so it would be a little bit sturdier so i'm going to use these little clothes pins to hold it so it'll dry nice and tight around that pin okay so just making marks where i'll make all the other pin holes Okay, and then carefully drilling each one and putting a pin in to start the process. Okay, so now I'm looking to make the hinges. I decided that I'm going to round the tips and I'm going to use little um, wooden pieces to attach the two pins. But if I round it, it'll be easier to fold. Okay, so you can see there I've kind of rounded the tip a little bit of the um one of the segments so i'm going to do that for all of the segments so after i've gotten that done i'm going to sand it to make sure it's smooth because i don't want anybody getting any splinters okay so after that those segments are nice and rounded they just make it easier to fold the ladder and i've reinforced some of the sides to the ladder as well so i'm attaching the hinge using that same pin technique on the reinforced rung using my handy thimble to push in the pin carefully okay see so it's going to be like a little latch so i'm going to have to do the same thing using my same scientific method of lining up the pin holes on the other part of the rung and I'm going to do the, the use the same process for each for each one. Lining it up, and you'll be able to see in a minute how it all worked out. So you can see here, I've got the clothespins holding onto that reinforced piece, and I'm putting the hinges in inside the reinforced rung, so that if it gets moved a little bit, it won't break. So just let that. Um, dry but I'm still making my markers for the pins that are going to go on the segment that will attach to that first segment again all of the ones that have pins have reinforced rungs I did that off camera I thought I was filming it I did not I'm sorry so now this is for the other hinge piece so I'm going to have to like do a starter hole 
so it'll be ready to go into that other segment you see what i'm doing there i hope you can see what i did there because it's going to be almost like a like a hinge a latch hinge i don't know if that's the proper name for it but that's what i'm calling it and by me rounding the edges it'll be able to fold easily okay can you see that there I really like the way it's turning out. I'm really excited to see the finished product. I can't wait to stain it, but I'm really, really liking the way it looks. It's looking really bladderish to me. Okay, so on this next part, I'm going to let you see how it looks. Look at that. I've already stained it. I've got it attached to the trap door. And that's just kind of a preview of how it will look inside the house. And this is from the attic view with the trap door that'll be under the rug so if you've enjoyed this video today let me know in the comments like subscribe and share and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll know when i'm uploading more videos regarding the rooming house dollhouse here on little gretchen's workshop looking forward to seeing you soon dolls bye bye